is a deal that I've been working on for just about a year now. Jordan uh, runs a crane business up here. He reached out and was like, hey man, I got a project for you. This is one of their like cherry trucks. Got hit by a drunk driver. I'm gonna put a new frame under it, stretch it out, make that thing just sweet. And then I got hit up about a monster truck tank. We're building her out. We might build a big block Chevy, make 800 horsepower. We're gonna try to start it right now though, so. Oh boy. Whoa. This is the place, this is uh, where the treasures are to be found. What treasures you ask? <laughs> Only one man knows and he's right there in that black camera. This is uh, Casper, Wyoming, beautiful Casper, Wyoming. And this is a deal that I've been working on for just about a year now. This is my friend Jordan over here. Jordan uh, runs a crane business up here. And uh, he reached out on Facebook and was like, hey man, I know you like trucks. I got a project for you. No. You know, this is one of their like, one of their cherry trucks that they use for heavy hauling. Um, got hit by a drunk driver. The truck was only going like five miles an hour. Drunk driver came over the hill, 50, 60 miles an hour, and wiped out the front end. It looks like it's much worse than it is. There is a little bit of possible frame damage. Um, the engine, all that stuff is appears to be good. And it's got a brand new drivetrain. Big, high horsepower cat engine. Um, 18 speed transmission, two speed rear ends, all brand new running gear. So this truck has got good components. So for the money, couldn't beat it. And these trucks, these pre-emissions trucks are so desirable. I mean, honestly, I say this about everything, but I kind of want to build it and keep it around, but we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll build it and give it away or sell it. I don't know, it's just a good deal. And then um, I got hit up yesterday about a uh, monster truck tank that somebody had for sale up here. And I was like, I'm in. So the reason why I haven't been up here yet is because my schedule and our schedule has just been too crazy. We haven't had the chance. Like to find time to go up to Casper, Wyoming and back is surprisingly hard. So it all worked out. So I got a hold of the other seller on the tank thing. We're gonna meet him in the morning, meeting Jordan tonight to pick up this truck. And then last minute he texted me, he's like, hey, also I got a uh, F-350 that you know was rolled a while back. Um, good parts, good engine, good everything. Do you want it? And I was like, deal. So that's why we have my low boy on the Kenworth. We've got the 40 foot gooseneck behind uh, the Ram. And then we had Brian come up with his record to help pull some stuff. So we're gonna load two semis and the one pickup tonight. Go grab a hotel, grab a tank in the morning. So this is, uh, I'm pumping this truck though. It's not my, uh, it's not my favorite color and it's that color inside and out. So that's not, that's gonna go away. I hate this color. You ever get the feeling like somebody's going through your personal information, just kind of rifling through your stuff? For example, this guy? He's quite literally the worst crook ever. You can see him trying to be sneaky, but I think he's actually making more noise as he tries to sneak around. As you can see, this guy's rifling through a bunch of stuff trying to find personal information, but I'm not that worried because he's not gonna find anything because I've got everything locked down tight and I have a really good guard dog. And that guard dog is the sponsor of today's video, which is Aura. You see, Aura is identity theft protection, it's fraud monitoring, it's a VPN so you can browse the internet anonymously, it's a password management software and an antivirus software all in one. I can jump right here on the app and it says, hey, you have seven critical alerts. The company was verifying my identity, credit score, it shows me transactions, it shows me any suspicious information. It even shows me that Aura is taking initiative to go out and remove my personal information from different websites. You see, anytime you put any information on the internet, it becomes fair game for hackers to get in there and get access to it. So I want you guys to get protected right now because I am protected and I feel pretty safe. Even guys like this monster, well, they're not gonna get into my personal stuff. So all you gotta do is click the link in my description below, go to aura.com forward slash heavy D sparks, get your free trial started, see if you like it. F you bad guys, but thank you Aura for sponsoring the video and continuing to sponsor the channel. You guys have been an awesome partner and those of you who have joined Aura, I know a lot of you are very happy with the service, so thank you for supporting. And for those of you who haven't, get on the train. Let's go. Good old fashioned heavy haul truck. I don't know why the shifter's over there. That's not supposed to be there. Looks like the transmission mounts are broken maybe, but 
Now, are you looking at bringing this back to life, or are you looking at scrapping this? No, this truck doesn't have that much damage. Is it frame damage at all? A little bit on the front, but there's, that's why I have the donor truck. Oh. I'm working to stretch it anyway, so it's got a brand new engine. We're putting these stacks on the day cap. <laughs> until then, we'll see. until this gets built, stacks on the day cap. Let's see about that. Oh. Did the trans twist when it got hit? That yeah, broke the motor mount. The motor mount yeah. But uh, I had my mechanic crawl down. I sent you that video. Yeah. It didn't break the housing and the transmission. So. Does this have a um, locking disc, do you know? Can't do lockers and two speeds. Yeah. When do you shift? Do you grab we, it? We, you say, they say, I think you can, this one has two speeds too. And we just, we shift it when you're stopped. Do you use the two speed often when you guys do? Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's go look at the Ford. Uh, did you, you say you pulled the trans out of this, right? Yeah. You did not put one back in? Yeah, we did. Oh, you did? Yeah, but it's not quite right. Whoever, I, well, I had a guy in town pull it and they put it in there and it kind of, it, it does drive-ish. Yeah. Their first attempt at a transmission. I don't think they put much care into putting <laughs> it back in. Did you put it back in hoping that it would drive or just? No, I just saw the truck it. was complete. Because yeah. there's, you know, I didn't want a dead truck in my yard. Oh, really? It's a good truck. Oh, geez. Holding on for dear life. <laughs> what did you do? I was up on the mountain, just just wanted to go ride it, and uh, just run off the road about ten mile an hour off the ditch, and it rolled uh, into a tree. Uh, it? Yeah, wrecked my sled and the truck. It's like dang. Yeah. It. Sled had two miles on it, and the truck had 120. But... All right, well, let's start loading. <laughs> I think it's got a 300 in it. Really? Check out the freaking visor on that thing, man. Just does. <laughs> Just a freaking Perfect. moon sliver. I love that. Almost looks like Tom Mayer. Any idea what he want for it? Oh, not much. Not what are we fun. working on, Dave? We don't need it. Remember what we talked about on the way down here? Tell me you don't need this. We need it. Oh. We need that. What winches, what winches, winches are on it? Uh, Probably a thousand pound. Or... Winch? I'm not sure. You try and tell me we don't need this. Look at this truck. Look at, this. Look at this truck. It's a Braden winch. Yeah, with a brake. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many levers are in there. Is that a cartoon? Look in there. Look how many levers are in this thing. <laughs> that is a full-blown cartoon truck. Look, look at that. They just keep on coming out. More and more levers. That thing. There is. There's one between the seats facing so... the other direction. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> That's a beefcake of a truck. This is a winch truck that we use in the oil field. They use it to tip up um, big t t tanks, brack tanks and stuff like that. Basically just winch them on, drag them on, and then kick them off. I think this one's for looking only. Oh, cost. the touch is gonna cost you. <laughs> what the hell? How high was this person? That's Zelda for sure. Where? How did you come across this? This came across through uh, Barrett Jackson, a guy in Washington, an old trucker out there, built it all. Built the truck inside. Built it to travel around as retired, I guess. Oh, it's a monster truck. There's a full blown program. You bought the whole. Yeah, I didn't. My dad. Did. I've never been so turned on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got a big block blown Chevy in it. Oh, this dude was it's just... It's all painted inside like, you know, pit my ride. You can see the speakers and stuff in it. This dude was killing it at the truck stops. He yeah. probably had a line waiting outside the cab. Oh, you can't really drive this <laughs> up. You're trying to wreck it going down the highway. You know what I do? I unhook all the straps and I drive it. Then I haul it and just let this thing just bounce let around. Let it bounce there. around. That's like your signature move. Jeez, oh, like the you guys are running out of the auction? Yeah. The whole combo? Unless you want <laughs> I, gotta know, I gotta know my limits somewhere. 
I don't this is where we draw the this limits <laughs> out of everything. Yeah. This, this is far too nice for me to own. Yeah, that's just, I, I, I will destroy yep. it before I, I get it out of your parking lot. I watched you guys look at those other trucks in that field the other day. I was like, oh my God, no way. Yeah. But yeah. I don't yeah. know what the hell you do with this either, though. That's why I don't know. My dad, he took it around to sh uh, car shows and he, I guess he enjoyed it. What's he hoping to get out of it? I don't know. That is a wild paint job. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Yeah. Only semi I've ever seen somewhat close is Carl Malone semi. <laughs> Carl Malone had a, had a wild western scene painted, but there was no naked ladies in the clouds. Yeah. How many chicken lights are on this thing? Oh, it's bad. You can see where Not it is. Yeah, it's it faces. I mean, it's, it's everywhere in our work is, is stuff uh -huh. hidden. So the truck has like 60,000 miles on it, and it's a 600 horsepower cab. Look at this little guy. That's, that's actually me and my wife. That is you and JC. Put around. That guy's still in the chicken. You see all the way through the castle. To the other side. Yeah. That's that's more. The, the little door in the bottom of the root of the tree. Look, Rapunzel's there. She's letting her hair down. Is she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Her shower. The other side actually isn't quite so 80s ish. I think, I, I think we should have just kept on with the whole dragon theme down Is it the truck. A different theme on the other side? Yeah, I think it's. If you got tired of the back. <laughs> Like, no, it's above the hinges, yeah. That dragon must go to the top. That is one of the nicest paint jobs I've ever seen. The dude's got an inch of clear on there. I just, what, what warrior wore <laughs> that? Huh? What warrior went into battle wearing a banana hammock? It's an army. Of, it's an army of dapes. That's <laughs> true. Guy on a got buffalo. a buffalo. Yeah, man on a buffalo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There he is. There's Those the man. Are my people. This is wild. This alone could be a video. And the truck inside, the truck inside is, is even more detailed than this. This is. Yeah, the nuts. truck inside is legit. This thing has to tow probably a 30 kilowatt generator just to power the chicken lights. <laughs> <laughs> there are lights everywhere. I love them. Look at that tree. A bunch of pissed off trees. Yeah. Except for this one in the front. He's laughing about something. Well, then what's on the hood? I'm not quite tall enough to see it. <laughs> Can't see it. The hood's where you put your prime stuff, right? Like your nostrils for your dragon right here, breathing the fire out. What do you see? Where is it? Angel. The wolves. The lions. Cougars. Cougars, sorry. Excuse me, cougar. I would live in this. Wait. How did I miss that? He was right above floor. <laughs> A white buffalo. I feel like they already talked about this. They did. Because I, because <laughs> yeah. I, can, I can hear them saying buffalo in my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man on a buffalo. <laughs> I was just too taken back from everything else. Jeez. Ooh. I think the... the, the, the yeah, it's, it's the same old CTSV and the Camaro, I think. It's the uh, LSA. It's the same one we put in the race truck. Right here. Is the other truck double frame? Do you know? I don't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, no brakes on us. I can't stress that enough. To, don't, I don't want anybody to run over. It will roll away. You just free willy right now? Yeah. yeah it's, it's missing the frame horns, but. The frame horns. Oh, yeah. But it's still Don't worry, we'll, <laughs> we'll park it and leave it for the next five years. <laughs> Telehandler. You want slings or chains or what are you thinking? Um, just drag it probably. 40,000? This, this, this can lift 40 and it can reach 60 feet. 60 feet or 30 feet, I can't remember. We all know though you would still overload, overload it, it yeah. and it would do one of these? Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised it doesn't have outriggers. You really found yourself at the wheel already. Huh? I did.
see it's clean. Yeah, we'll be back. Go get the tank and then come back over here and grab the rest of the stuff. So far so we'll take from here. A couple miles. Yeah, just so over five, ten minutes down the road. I do. Yeah. Yeah. appreciate yeah. it. Man. Yeah, no problem, guys. Well, uh, I'll hug you in the morning. Another day in paradise, my friend. What is going on with that guy? Mr. To the Moon. Oh, I love This is our guy. Oh, there's a tank right there. All ready to go. Oh, dude, we are gonna. I can't wait to break a drive through with that. <laughs> break a drive through? We're gonna break a drive through like a, bur a Burger King. We're gonna get stuck in there. <laughs> For sure, said break a drive train. <laughs> Not too. <laughs> Guys, this is my new friend Ryan. Ryan sent me an email. Very smart man. It was a very simple email. Picture of a tank and said, hey, you want this? It's for sale, right? Yep. You're helping a friend of a friend or something? Uh, well, the owner here, he's kind of helped me out a time or two, so I'm just trying to return a favor. Nice. He bought it and then it pretty much sat back here. Yeah. These cars you see laying around is what he wanted to crush. <laughs> yeah. Simple request. He's got, he's got more toys than he knows what to do with. Yeah. yeah. If he's got one of those, he must. It's a good looking truck, man. I got it. It's, it's my baby. That's sweet. Yeah. How you doing, sir? Good. That weighs 16,000 pounds. 16, is that what it weighs? Yes, sir. I think it's pretty heavy. I don't, you want to put it on first and put that on second. Yeah, I'm a game of where to park here in a minute. Like, Oh yeah, it's got differential braking. I mean, it all works good. So. Okay. How long you had it? Oh, 15, 20 years. Oh wow. This, I mean, in its day, this was called Black Bull Tracks. I actually Googled it, and it's a, it was a pretty popular model out there yeah, for a while. This, this, the, but the, these, these you just pull. I mean, it. Yeah, it, it just breaks steer. Yeah, it's super easy. Oh, it does but have it, the aluminum bogey wheels, huh? Oh yeah. No, this. It, it, That's it, a, Actually, there's hard, they're hardly any wear on anything. Got to be a 70s or newer APC, probably. Keep it really quiet, okay? Yeah, I mean, as heavy as it is, if you really wanted to get to it, you probably need about 1,200 horsepower. Yeah. Better get a 2,000 horsepower. Yeah. Nine Cummins. Yeah. This thing's awesome. Look how cool this is. They took old military tanks and armored personnel carriers, took the chassis off of them dropped a big block motor in them and then put whatever body on it they wanted. Um, and then the body tips up and they would take these things and crush cars and hit jumps. But the old timers that would run these things in the shows would hit like 10 foot jumps. And there's no suspension on this thing. It lands like a brick house. And you got the freaking original van seats, uh, maybe a lap belt for a, for a harness, a donut pillow around your neck, if that for your neck protection. And they just went for it. And I've been trying to buy one of these for about two years now and up until about two years ago these never hit the market if they did they were gone for like 50 60 grand because uh all like the enthusiasts would go out and snatch them up well as more old timers started to retire or pass away and their family started to sell their stuff more of these started to hit the market and i passed on a couple uh because they were just not the right fit for me either seller wanted too much money or whatever it was this is the perfect deal popped up right price 10 grand the best part about this is I have a vision for it. When I was a little kid, my favorite remote control car was a toy called the Jumbo Van. It was a Ford Econoline green lifted monster van RC car. And this is gonna become the next Jumbo Van. And I cannot wait. Now I just gotta figure out how to get it home. 16 plus two, so we're 18 feet long. Oh, 18? <laughs> this is a short stack. Customized it already. Still got the freaking armrests. Crushing cars and comfort. Right, this, is, this is where I belong.
That trailer's pretty heavy duty, but yeah, we're right there. Well, thank you, man. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It's going well, to a good home. To the other yard to grab the Kenworth from the low boy and uh, tidy up the rest of our load. Grab the other spare donor truck and we are on the road. feet with the stacks so those bad boys gotta come off I gotta figure out where the uh, stack section is it's either gonna be right here or right there gotta pull that off you know to get that sit low enough hopefully it's just that upper one so we don't have to pull the whole stack off but we shall see I'm really excited about this truck this is a this is a beefcake of a truck very very uh just made for heavy heavy hauling we're making this peterbilt roadworthy Getting all this stuff to buttoned up on it, it's going to drag and create an accident or something crazy. So, making it super clean and lean. I got a low tire somewhere, picked up a nail or something. So, we'll get that fixed. We'll head westbound. I don't think I've ever had a trip to Wyoming and back go that smoothly. Uh, everything pulled well, even this heavy ass trailer with the van on it. Semi ran great, Brian made it. No, nope, like didn't even get stopped, no inspections. <laughs> I'm happy. So now, I've been thinking a lot on the way home. I've been doing a lot of Googling. Here's my plan for now. The semi, I'm gonna build out. I'm gonna put a new frame under it, stretch it out, make that thing just absolutely like sweet. Kind of like my Kenworth. The Ford, I'm kind of back and forth on because it's a great truck, but it's also nothing crazy special. 2017, 100,000 miles, clean title, mechanically solid other than the transmission, which I forgot about. I was not factoring that in. Just kind of clean it up a little bit uh, and then put it online for sale as is damaged because there's a lot of people that want to repair trucks like that. And the truck market's so hot right now, I could probably sell that thing for 20 grand. Um, and I only paid 8,500 for it. So the van is going full tilt. We're building her out. Uh, I've been talking to my buddy over at Maruzi Motors. Uh, they built some nasty racing engines. And so we might, uh, I might've just given him the green light to start building a big block Chevy. Everyone's like, oh, put a diesel in it, put a diesel in it. No, it just, honestly guys, uh, I would spend a hundred grand trying to get a diesel dialed in with that with all the cooling and all the internal parts and stuff like that and even then like when i had the rip saw with the duramax in it it was okay but the throttle response is never going to be there with the diesel with the turbos uh, especially on a on an application like that that's always like needing snappy throttle um so a big block chevy i can get for you know 15 grand fully built make 800 horsepower and just go have fun with it so i think that's the plan for that one we're gonna get uh we're gonna try to start it right now though so uh, we're gonna wrap this video up in a minute, but before we do that, we're gonna let you guys see if this thing cranks over, if it's got any life in it. I'm hoping that it just fires up and I'm able to pull it off the trailer and then we'll, uh, we'll tee up the next video of what we're gonna do with this stuff. But all in all, I spent $48,500. If I were to just sell everything right now, as is, I could probably double that. But I'm not going to sell it right away. We're gonna stretch this out a little bit. I'm excited. I don't see any coolant in the radiator. Let's put a, the jump box on it.
Come on, baby. bit of fuel I'll pour it down the carburetor that's the best way to get them to go go again okay ready wait come on baby come on come on baby there we go come on, yeah baby. ready Did your thing reset? Yeah, I just reset it right now. Should be good. Sounds good? Yeah. I think it's flooded. It's got sticking valves. Oh, come on. Ah. Come on. Do you, do you, uh, is there a fuel pump off of the tank? I don't hear it running, but there's a switch for it. Try this again. Clear. Check your jumper, Dave. wants to go. Good news is it's got compression. doesn't have any oil in it because it's not still trying to figure out what this is this looks like a like a maybe a four-speed gearbox or a two-speed gearbox which is kind of cool That's pretty cool. I think that might be all we have. That's all right. A little bit more. More. All right. Here she 
Okay, just hold it there. Yes, sir. Give me a good battery. Pull it off now. I think that motor's toast. Yeah, definitely. She doesn't. She's got a lot of blow by. Yeah. No, that it sounds right like one yeah, yeah. is not firing. Yeah, it could. It could just be have a big bad misfire, which is why it's blowing like that. But oh, all that clunking around in there it sounds like it might have spun a bearing or something. Yeah, for sure. Just getting a little bit of fluid in there. Figure out if we got any water or not. Definitely low on water. Yeah. Looking at the size of that radiator, it's gonna take at least, I would say, five gallons. Where's that hose at? Just bring the hose. There you go. You know, I haven't checked lately, but is it hard to get a replacement? What? Engine. No, I'm gonna put a big block in it. Okay, go ahead and crank that. Fire in the hole. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, crank it a little more. Okay, stop. So you basically put a bunch of water in there? 50-50. Oh, 50-50, okay.